Hello, my name is Krina Kasisa, and I like to do nice things. Now, I know you may be thinking, okay, yeah, nice things, you know, like if someone falls, we help them up, or if I see a homeless person on the side of the street, I'll give them some spare change. And yes, those are acts of kindness, but what I do is I go more in depth with, the, with these acts of kindness, and so throughout this presentation, I'll be talking about three projects that I've done in the last few years that have focused on particular aspects of life. And so I guess I should start with how I got interested in doing nice things. And it all started in eighth grade. I don't know if any of you ever got to decorate lockers in middle school or high school, but that was a really big thing in eighth grade for me as well as my peers. And I remember being the person to decorate other people's lockers. Not only for the joy of decorating it, because it was really fun, and I got to see like you know my friends be super happy and excited, but I was also a little bit selfish in the sense that I wanted my locker to get decorated. And I felt that if I decorated other people's lockers, then surely someone would decorate mine. The logic right there. And when it came to my birthday, nobody decorated my locker. And I was super disappointed. And this got me thinking to how many people out in the world don't get acknowledged on their birthday. And so during my freshman year of high school, I focused on that. And I created a project called Project Cupcake. And basically what this project entailed was that I gave out over 100 cupcakes to a lot of kids in my grade. And the object was basically what I did was I bought a cupcake and then I wrote a nice letter to kids in my grades, and these letters had the typical happy birthday, but then they also had things of recognition, things that I sort of saw about them that I liked, aspects and positive traits, and then I went to their house, and I put it on their doorstep, and I walked away. Because I went, when I did this project, I was anonymous, because uh, I didn't want people to know it was me, because I thought it would be not as impactful. And I actually got a lot of positive feedback from this, um, mainly through Instagram, because people would post it, and then I'd see it, and I'd be like, oh, this is so cool. And so this project, after freshman year, I was like, okay, I gotta, like, up one. I gotta, like, do something better. But what can I do? So sophomore year, at the beginning of the year, I remember I was in the bathroom, and I heard two girls talk bad about themselves. You know, like, their appearance. And I know everyone kind of does this. They'll look in the mirror, and they'll be like, oh, I don't like this. But I thought that it was something that was really apparent, um, in society and that I wanted to fix it or address it at my school. So I came up with my next project, which was called Project You Are Beautiful. And in this project, I wrote You Are Beautiful on 15,000 sticky notes, and I put one on each and every locker at my school, as well as teachers' sort of doors. And I remember, I once again, I wanted to see people's reactions because I also went anonymous on this. And I remember walking in super early the day after I put these up, and I saw the first people come in, and they were all really confused, because they're like, what is this, you know? And then once they saw it, I remember people's faces were lighting up, they were sticking them on each other, they were all just super happy. And it made me feel good knowing that other people felt good about themselves and were getting recognized the fact that they are truly beautiful. And as I mentioned before, I did go anonymous, but I later came out uh, because, once again, I'm selfish and I wanted like myself to get recognition, but I came out on Facebook telling all my peers like this was a project that I did because I felt that it needed to get addressed at my school, and I got a lot of positive feedback. Now, after this project, once again, I was like, all right, I got to go up another level. So I, junior year, I created this project called uh, project, uh, the, compl or the compliment project. And through this project, I got this one on online, and basically I wrote on about 600 clothespins, positive uh, compliments, and these included like, you have a nice smile, or you have beautiful eyes, nice things like that. And I did this before I went to the administration at my school, and it actually got denied. And so I was like, great. Uh, what do I do with 600 clothespins? And what wound up happening was I turned it into a game in public with my friends and my family. 
And it, once again, it adds to this sort of secret, secret, secretiveness because I wouldn't tell people that they're like about to get clothespin. Basically, what would happen was I would like go in public and I would have a clothespin and I'd try to clothespin it to someone's uh, clothes or backpack or hat and then I'd walk away. And the hope would be that when that person gets home or gets to wherever they're going, they would see this clothespin and they'd be like, oh wow, like someone thinks I have beautiful eyes. And it was super exhilarating to get away with something like this. It sounds kind of like a, a crime, but it's really not. It's really just put like making something into a nice thing. And it just it felt really good. And I remember doing this in, um, this one right here is actually in uh, the Hong Kong airport. And I mean, I don't know if the girl can speak English. I just figured that it would be interesting to try this in another country. And so another, another funny part uh, about this too was that I also did it in San Francisco because that's kind of where I live and it's super easy in public places, and also Disneyland. And I guess the point that I was trying to get across was that no matter who you are and what you're doing in your, your life, you really don't know what goes on in other people's lives. I don't know any of you. I don't know a lot of people in my life too. But I do know that small things like this can make people's lives better. Someone could feel really sad one day and see a post-it note that says, you're beautiful, and be like, wow, somebody's thinking of me. So I guess what I'm trying to get across is just do nice things in your everyday life. Thank you.